Tasha Powell. Welcome to Keeping It Real. So today, I'm just going to keep it real with you. I'm going to talk about the phrase, um, I'm the first black woman, man, to. That phrase. It's a very common phrase, particularly in America. Now, before I, I tell you what I don't like about the phrase, I have to tell you, I like terms like black excellence. I like terms like powerful black. I like terms like that. However, um, there was a time when we would celebrate the first black person to accomplish something, whether it's Miss Universe, whether it's um, the first black president. We, we all knew how we celebrated Barack Obama, President Barack Obama, and other things. However, I think the time has passed for us to, to keep celebrating one of us getting a seat at the table. I am that black woman who feels, who feels that I deserve a seat at every table that I work hard to be at. I am that black woman that believes that integration is not something, or, or a black person accomplishing something is not something that we need to celebrate. We need to celebrate our community rising, not an individual rising. We need go to those days when we were made to feel as though we have to celebrate one person, like we were being done a favor, you know? Um, and, and for me, this is why, and I know some of you may not agree with me, but this is why I have a problem with, I'm the only black woman to accomplish going to, you know, or the first black woman. <sighs> There's so many of us who have amazing talents, who have accomplished so much, but I believe that we encourage others members of other tribes to, to continue to separate us and divide us like years gone by. Like our community is fragmented and continues to be fragmented when we don't see all of us as being worthy of advancement and we just see one person doing it and, and, and we celebrate that. It's like a big thing and, and so until we get to the point as a tribe where we could celebrate each other properly and not be happy with the recognition we get as an individual black person, then we will overcome. So for me, I have an issue with celebrating the only black person too, or the first black person too, because when we celebrate that statement or we use that phrase, it says so much about the rest of our community. I have never heard my white friends or white colleagues say I'm the first white person to, they may say I'm the first person in my family to go to college, but the fact that we have to continue to justify our blackness or to validate it on an individual basis and not a community basis, the fact that we have to be concerned that if a community is full of black people, then the value of that community is still very low, the real estate value, then that says that we're not making as much progress as we deserve to, as we ought to. Because one of us being there is not enough anymore. Our community, if we could stick together, and, and recognize that the, the, the phrase, the first black took, is not a special phrase anymore, then we can make progress. So I'm Basha Powell, and, and I'm just keeping it real, and I want us to focus on black excellence and not on the first black took, because those days are gone. There are many opportunities available for all of us. So work hard and go take your seat and run behind your greatness as though you deserve it. There are no signs anymore on the bathroom saying that we can't use it. So go get your greatness. It's available for people of all colors. I'm Basha Powell and thank you for watching. Keeping it real. See you next time.